with the U.S. Women's National Team taking on Canada on Sunday, June 2nd, in a match that will be the first meeting between the two countries since the 2012 Olympics, a game that many call one of the greatest women's soccer matches ever played. We thought this was a good time to ask the U.S. players for some memories from August 6, 2012 at Old Trafford in Manchester, England. I think that the vivid memory I have is just how amazing our team stuck together. We never put our heads down. No matter how many goals Christine Sinclair was going to score against us, we weren't going to, we weren't going to let them beat us that day. Uh, I definitely remember the entire match pretty vividly, um, especially the second um, overtime. And I just felt like there was a belief in our team um, that we were going to push through it, that we were going to get through it, and we were going to come out on top. I think that uh, there was never a point in our minds where we were thinking, oh, we're going to go into PKs. We were always thinking there's one chance. We have one more shot. I mean, that was one of the most uh, exciting soccer games that I've ever watched or been part of. It was insane. Um, I was uh, I came off the bench in that game, so for the most part I was watching it uh, from the sideline, which is so hard. It's way harder than being in the game. Um, but I just remember just trying to like get my mind and body to stay calm because I knew that there was a chance that I would, you know, have to go in. And then luckily uh, I was able to get in in, in overtime and uh, play the cross into Alex. Abby passed the ball out wide to Heo, and um, I knew Heo was going to get the ball in the box. Crossing is um, one of her best strengths on the field, so of course she put in a perfect cross, and knowing that we have the best head on the team, Abby Wambach, uh, we all assumed that she was going to get up for it, and I just kind of jumped in front of her because I was like, you know, I'll block her and the ball ended up coming to my head and um, went in. And I remember seeing Abby and Alex in the box and I think I just sort of got it in there hoping that one of them would get their head on it. Usually it's Abby but in this case uh, Alex got a hold of it and uh, it sort of like looped over the goalkeeper so I remember being like uh, yeah and just throwing my hands up in the air. I think I was like just too excited to even like run to Alex. I just hands up straight up where I was. It was like all the hard work paid off in that moment. When Alex scored last goal, I was pushed up a bit and I couldn't even run to the celebration. I just, I'm pretty sure I laid on top of Tobin and hugged her on the field. And I'm pretty sure I almost started crying. because so I was like, it's almost over. We just have to have, you know, 30 more seconds, a minute more. And once it was done, I had a bit more energy and you know, could celebrate. It was a part of our, our destiny throughout that tournament. Um, you know, Alex's header, latest goal ever score, scored. I think that was one of my best moments, I think, in the, in the entire tournament. That was probably the most emotional game that I've ever played. So having to come back um, four times from them scoring uh, was was an emotional roller coaster for sure. And I, I mean, but we never let down. We never had our heads down. I mean, it was a little annoying. We were thinking in our heads, are you serious again? But um, at the end of the day, we continue to push through it. And um, again, it's just that belief we had in each other. Man, I just remember, you know, obviously Sinclair getting one after another, scoring a hat trick. Um, Pino's incredible performance, scoring off the corner kick. But I mean, obviously the last minute, last few seconds of Alex scoring, um, I mean, I, I can't pinpoint one, one memory. I mean, it was just kind of a chain reaction of goal, 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 goal. Um, but the way that we stuck together, came together, and ended up with the victory was, was unbelievable. You can watch USA versus Canada live on ESPN News on Sunday, June 2nd at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And follow along on USSoccer.com's Match Tracker and on Twitter at USSoccer underscore WNT.